welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> it's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside just like they did to our country. <laughs> I welcome migrants to the United States. It is absolutely wild times. It really, really is. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. No it is absolute. Heck yeah. It's a cool black guy with a thing on his head. What the hell is that? A lampshade? Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm just kidding. That's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. It was awesome. <laughs> you guys are right. Heck yeah. So whoever this person is, this is the person that was the comedian at the Madison Square Garden rally for Trump, um, whatever day it was, cha. And he came out here and he said those disgusting things that he just said. So I don't know the full context. Clearly, I got this from one of the blogs. It looks like it's Hollywood Unlocked, which we know what their agenda is. But if I just take it at face value with what it is that he said, he's a dick. He's a dick. Do I know if he's racist? I don't know. I don't care. It looks like he's all inclusive offensive. What the hell did Puerto Rico do to him? What did Puerto Rico do to him? Puerto Rico is one part of the daggone United States. And he's sitting up here talking about them like they did something personally to him. I don't get that part. And it's not funny. So if he thinks that this was funny, then he needs to go back to comedy school or whatever the heck it is that they do. But of course, you know, this is all going to go down that this is all Trump's fault because everything in the world is Trump's fault. And I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Say, so when Spike Lee is out here saying what he says, um, talking about black men, nobody seemed to have a problem with that. Ain't no outrage. But I guess because that's N word, it's okay. Not N word, N word, it's okay. What about, what's his name? D.L. Hughley talking that badly about Janet damn Jackson. Y'all don't have a problem with that. All these people that are taking down your own, but we supposed to care about this jackass. First of all, I don't know who this jackass is. Second of all, he ain't shit and he ain't funny. And you know what else? By the way that the crowd is reacting to him, they don't accept what he's saying either. But I guess y'all just ignore that part. Just a bunch of racists getting together. That's all that's in the crowd. So then that means Donald Trump is racist. And because this man is saying what he's saying, then that means he's definitely racist, right? How is that going to change anything for anyone? How does that make a daggone difference at the end of the day? But you can seemingly ignore what Obama is saying and doing to his own daggone people. I don't give a fuck about this man. I've never heard of this man. And clearly he gonna have some issues after this daggone piece that he just did. He clearly will have some issues. You know that all the CNNs, MSNBCs, and the views is going to be talking about it, which of course, and I'm talking about it too, so whatever. He's wrong. What he's saying is wrong. What he's saying is inappropriate. What he's saying may get that man canceled. But it's amazing to me how Hollywood Unlocked can do every little thing, see every little thing that Donald Trump does, but don't see anything with regard to what actual black people are doing and saying about actual black people. Magic Johnson included. Obama D.L. Hughley, Ro hell, Roland, all of them. They don't put up no post about that. They don't point anything out like that. You know that the view ain't going to point out nothing like that. Then you're going to have Charlemagne, somebody that y'all listen to that's just an effing DJ who is allegedly, potentially, maybe did something to some young woman older many years ago in South Dam Carolina. Y'all can look, y'all can overlook all that, but you want to point out every single thing. This ain't even something that Trump said. This ain't even something that Trump said. If we can sit here and be careful or be logical for one moment, this man ain't even going over with the daggone white crowd, predominantly white crowd, but y'all want to make this into a thing. This man did that on his own. Those are his jokes. He thought it would land well. It did not. And he's the one that's going to suffer the consequences from it. That don't change nothing about Cam Cam. That don't mean nothing else for Donald Trump unless a hell, 
unless he comes out here and says, yeah, I agree with everything that that man just said. Then I would see what the outrage is. Y'all will make sure that you see every single thing that anything having to do with Donald Trump is pointed out, but won't even point out the things that are happening to your community, by your community, and knowing damn well that those people ain't no daggone better. I'm not saying they're as bad as this jackass, but I'm saying that don't act like they up on some damn pedestal. Because I want to know Hollywood Unlocked and all the rest of the blogs. When you going to call out D.L. Hughley for what he said about Janet Dam Jackson? When the hell are you going to call out Steve Harvey Harvey for saying that he just throwing her a lob and she don't have to answer no questions? Why are y'all sitting up here listening to, why are y'all sitting here listening to Charlemagne when he got, had alleged charges against him? Oh, that don't matter. Do you see how much none of this makes any sense? Do you see how you're trying to put fear, fear mongering tactics into people, into black people, your own people is not working anymore because people ain't going to cower down like you all doing. You're pussying out. Like I keep saying, that's what this is. Y'all the ones that are scared. Y'all the ones that are ready and willing to allegedly go back into chains because Donald Trump might become president again, where you put into chains the first time. So y'all going to roll over and cower down to the white people that have caused you so much pain, even though these are all millionaires who are talking. Yeah, this can all be brought back to your colors, too, because it amazes me how when you're so far left, you can say and do whatever you want. But then all of a sudden, there's supposed to be all this outrageous outrage for the far right people and the things that they're doing when you're doing the same daggone thing. The difference is you're doing it to your own. You ain't even doing it to the other side. Y'all ain't even doing it to the other side. You're doing it to your own. And somehow, some way, in someone's brain, whoever's running this campaign, whoever thinks that they're helping this woman, all you did was alienate those same people that you wanted to freaking vote for her. That's exactly what you did. And the fact that these alleged smart people, college educated, they know, they know, they know, clearly don't know. What you have done is alienated people. So when you go back to figure out why this failed, if she does not become the president and people are going to blame black men, of course, but the black men you need to blame are magic DL Roland Ricky who came out Charlemagne. Let's not forget him who came out here and chastised black people, including Obama and chastised black people and told them what they needed to do. Tried to be their overseer, tried to be their master tried to tell them what's best for them when these people all got enough money to make it last and be okay. Where the rest of us down here, the middle class and less, the people who are going to say you shouldn't vote for Trump just because he gave you a stimulus check, but it makes sense to vote for Cam Cam because of 25, 6, and 50, you're a hypocrite. You're all hypocrites. You're full of shit. And anybody that don't see it, that's your problem. I don't have time for it. This man on the screen right now, I don't know him. So y'all are making him out to, to be known at this point. F this man. I will never look for him. I ain't going to remember his name. He was doing tasteless jokes. You call it whatever you want. The crowd clearly was not going along with it, but y'all don't see that. You just want to associate everything with Donald Trump, even though this is his rally. This is not him speaking. And this man bombed. But I guess y'all don't know about comedy no more, right? Anyway, that's it. That's all. Y'all know what to do. Make sure you hit the like button. I see you all in the next one. They know better than to feed me anything um, because I do not care.